Today what we're going to do is we're going to make a Google Slides presentation similar to the invasive species project you guys did but this time we're going to be looking at dams and how they positively and negatively affect the environment. So in Google Classroom you've got both the PowerPoint slides for you to fill in and the sheet that explains what's going on. If we take a look at the sheet it says you're going to create seven slides which I've already gotten the slides printed pre-printed for you and what you're going to do is today you're going to do research and fill out a worksheet on the two dams that you're looking at. Here's a list of a bunch of the different dams you can work on. You're going to be picking two of them. You can't pick the same two as other people. I don't want to see more than two Hoover Dam projects. I don't want to see more than two of these. So if you're doing Hoover Dam and Three Gorges, Make sure that there's not more than one other person doing Hoover Dam or Three Gorges. Please make sure that everybody does different dams so I don't see the same thing more than once. That's what it says down here. What you're going to be doing today is you're going to be using the note sheets that accompany this to actually write the notes. And if you scroll down or if you look on the homework sheet that was passed out to you, what you're going to do is slide one is going to be an introductory slide. You name the two dams. You do pictures of the two dams. Here you can just write down which dams you're working on. But on the second slide, you're going to pick one of your dams, and you're actually going to tell me about your dam. This is what's going to go on your slide. You're going to tell me just information. When was it built? How big is it? What is it made up of? Any other facts about that particular dam that you think are interesting? You can include pictures of the dam. You should include pictures of the dam maybe a couple different pictures. For slide three, why was the dam built? What good did it do the people living in or around the dam? What you're going to do is you're going to write down notes on what are the good things about that dam. Then you're going to write what are the bad things about having the dam in that place? What kind of uh, environmental damage did it do? How did it affect the ecosystem negatively? Write down all the stuff you've learned here. And then you're going to do the same thing for the second dam. Basic introduction to your second dam. Advantages and disadvantages. And once you've got all this filled out, this is what you make your, your slideshow out of. You don't go to the internet and copy and paste phrases and, and words. That's called plagiarism. So you're going to be using the information here to actually create your PowerPoint slides. Here's the PowerPoint slide. You're going to replace this with the name of your presentation, name your two dams, and presentation something about environmental aspects of your particular dam. There's dam number one. Replace this. Replace this with the information. Keep replacing everything. So, so none of this should actually appear on your final project. You're going to erase all this and fill in what it says. Okay, the last three slides are about dam number two. Add in pictures, add in themes, add in transitions, add in details, animations, whatever you want <clears throat> to make it look good. But remember, step one is fill out this worksheet here because this is part of your grade and this is what you're going to make your slides out of. No copying and pasting information directly from the internet onto your presentation. You've done something like this before with invasive species. We're doing it kind of the same way. The more effort you put into it, the more chance you're going to get a good grade on it. That's it. The rest of the period you get to work on this. Good luck, and email me questions if you have problems.